Seth in Westchester. What's up, Seth? Hey, guys. Uh, Hi. Big fan of the show. Of course but, you are. Uh, I wanted to know if Troy thinks that the moon landing never happened or if we've never been to the moon, that's, period. That's a great question. Troy, if you had to uh, guess, would you say the first moon landing was fake and then we got to the moon later, or would you say none of the moon landings were faked, or would you say most? I don't think we went. <clears throat> Ever. I don't think so. <laughs> that's a bummer. That's, uh, what about the Russians? I don't, they, no, they didn't go to the moon. Oh. I don't think we got through the Van Allen belt. I don't think we have the technology yet to do it. But You don't think anybody's been to the moon? I don't think so. Shit. Find the Hubble telescope taking pictures of the rover and footprints on the moon. Oh, boy. Norton, you may have stepped in it. Well, I'd like you to may see have it. stepped in some yeah. real evidence yeah. that this shit is make Maybe I'm incorrect. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Earth-based. Yeah, I'm saying I don't know if it's Earth-based yeah. or not. Earth-based photos finding the flag, the footprints, and the rovers on the moon. Oh, okay, they're a thousand times too small to be seen from an Earth-based telescope, so maybe it's just a... Uh... That's convenient. So you can see galaxies far away, but you can't see the, the footprints. Well, the difference uh. is you're seeing... You're, you can see the galaxies, yeah, because it's light, whereas a footprint is a little dark mark on a... Uh... But the rovers are all still there. Well, oh, galaxies uh, are also... Right. Galaxies are huge. I mean, we can zoom in on tiny little things on Mars. Yeah, but when you see a galaxy, you're seeing a billion stars that looks like one point of light. Like you're seeing something that is is is, is say fifty or a thousand light years wide, as a pinpoint of light. Like I, that's all you're seeing. You're not seeing individual stuff in right. the galaxy. But you understand, we have the technology on Earth to take pictures of Mars, tiny little detail on the surface of Mars. And so we can't we, get those footprints. So we should be able to see the the rover that landed on the moon. Well, the details we take on Mars, you're right, but I think those are from the rover that's actually there. Pre pre that. And I'm guessing that's from something that was orbiting the moon, probably not from Earth. So then there has oh, to be like something the orbiting moon. the moon. They had something, or no, I'm sorry, or orbiting Mars. I, I don't know. Okay, but, so he's saying, well, if it's orbiting the moon, why can't it take pictures of foot footprints? Yeah, are there no photos of the footprints from space? Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it's but that's wild. I mean, that should that would just debunk everything. Just be like, look, here's a picture we took. There's the rover sitting there on moon. It, w it wouldn't debunk anything to me. Um, the, the rover they should be able to see, but the footprints wouldn't debunk it. I was just incorrect. No, the rover. Are there no photos of the rover from Or the, the flag. Or the flag. Let's see that flag. Yeah, maybe they're too small. I don't, I mean, I don't have an answer but to see, that. see, that doesn't make any sense to me. Well, there's no light source from it either. Like those oh. things that are taken, when you're talking about things in space, they're light sources. They're all, they're taken with like under ultraviolet light, ultra, ultraviolet light or they're seen as light. I but mean, there, light. There was a, light on... The astronauts, when they landed on the moon, you could obviously because from the, there, the photos yeah. lit. Yes, from there. So that means that light does shine on that place of the moon. So it's not the dark side of the moon. No, light shining. On, again, I'm not a scientist. Light shining on it might give a different uh, ability to be photographed than actually it emitting light and it giving off a source but as a, a land source of light. A Land Rover is a pretty big vehicle. How big is it? Yeah, it's it, it's a frame of a jeep. Nice. Yeah, I don't know why. Can, now, is that can they not find photos of it or no? Of what? The rover. The rover. The rover from I, Earth. I don't know. I'm Are you looking, looking for footprints? Flag. But by the way, the, a uh, universe is yeah. way bigger than a jeep. Yeah, I mean, to it's, be fair, it, it compare, I know what you're I saying. I have a but, jeep. Yeah, you couldn't fit a universe in there. No, Sam. You, you can, what I'm saying is, with Mars, you can take detailed photos from Earth on Mars, but you, you can't take more detailed. I, I, what what detailed photos of Mars are people taking from Earth? Oh, you whatever you could even other planets, Jupiter. You, you can what, get. What are they looking at there, Travis? In 2011, this was these are photos taken from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. Uh, captured the sharpest images ever taken from space of the Apollo 12, 14, and 17 landing sites. Okay, so you can't take the photo. I, I, the feet. I was wrong. Um, let, me, let me. Can you open them up a little bit? Yeah, and if they're lying about it, why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they fake clear photos? If I they mean, can fake the moon landing, why wouldn't they fake better photos? That's then? a tremendous question. How are they taking that <laughs> bad of photos? I don't think it's a bad photo. I just think that something it, in 2014. That's the best photo we can get of the moon from space. Maybe yeah. I mean, yeah. Come from on, an orbiter. Guys. Yeah. You guys are. What do they got an iPhone? <laughs> yeah, maybe from space. It's a tougher photo to take. Yeah, they didn't send us. It's, it's wild how detailed these photos can get from anywhere, but all this, they're this blurry. Well, I haven't seen anything that's the size of a Jeep on Mars. Yeah. I haven't seen. Yeah, what are some Earth-based photos of Mars? 
Galaxies are a bad example just because space is black, they're light. And they're also huge. And you're also seeing something that's, you know, a thousand light years wide as a pinpoint of light. Right. That's how our tech, our, our, our telescopes are good, but you're seeing something that a billion thing, a giant things bigger than our sun. Okay. You're seeing as one pinpoint of light. Of that's the best Earth-based view of Mars, and it's the whole planet. Sure, it's, the least, it's, it's the There's least. It's the least. There's no details. It's a terribly okay, but, undetailed photo. But uh, is the, are there? Is the, do you have the capability of taking photos? Of the moon from space. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So why can't we get a detailed photo of the Land Rover sitting uh, on... My on guess the is that they haven't spent a lot of time doing it. Like, for what? Like, whenever they yeah, take for photos... What, shut you up? Whenever, yeah. Whenever they take photos from space, they usually aim a camera somewhere and they have a reason to do it. And there's a limited amount of time because everything's moving. So if somebody said, why don't we take photos from space of the moon landing site, somebody would go, Why? Like for what? Why we did it? Like, like I don't. Get I mean, why I'd we like, would do that. For, there's no purpose. There's because no they're like, well, people are saying nobody landed here. Let's just show them that. Look, there's the shit we put there. But maybe scientists don't. <laughs> That's a good point. Maybe they're not looking at it. Like, let's get a very small segment of people who won't believe it anyway to shut up, and we can actually use this for scientific purposes that well, we need. Why not just get a filmmaker to take a picture of the rover? If a filmmaker did it well, to start it, with. And if it's there and we have good technology, what, just have somebody take a picture of it. I'm guessing that the craters look small. Like, we, we look, well, look at how small those little details photos are taking. But they're not small. They're actual craters. They're huge. That are large. Yeah, yeah they, yeah, they yeah, look right. small, but they're not. Canyons. Yeah, they're big. Yeah. That makes sense. I mean, from space, you can zoom in on Google Maps and to tiny little, from way up in space, zoom in. You can't take a photo of... A Land Rover on Mars? I well, guess those are the best photos they have. But if, if they haven't tried it in 10 years, if that's the most detailed photos they have is 10 years ago. Plus, if Google Maps were that good, they wouldn't need those cars driving around neighborhoods with the cameras on the top. It's an excellent point. All Thank you. Time. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And you can get a certain amount of detail from Google, like when you zoom in from Google uh, satellites. You can you can get... Now, are, are the things... Are Google satellites closer... Than the ones, how far was that thing that took those photos? I don't know any of the answer to that. Well, I mean, yeah, Google satellites are right above us. Right. How far was that taken from? Was that taken from something that was the same distance? Probably not. This is where you need uh, Dr. Tyson. Nah. Or any physicist. Troy doesn't think so. I'd rather get Dr. Steve. Let's see, 40 years later, flags remain on the moon. How do they know? In parentheses, it says we guess. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. No, it says flags remain in quotes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how far away it was. Oh, 100 meters. Okay, right? let's see what Tom in uh, let's see what Tom in Connecticut has to say because this is a wild ass <laughs> phone call description. Uh, what's up, Tom? It's Troy from the other room. Hey, I just want to say that uh, all of uh, the NASA stuff is fake because my grandmother is Krista McCullough. From the Challenger. Mic oh. drop, motherfuckers. Whoa. So she lived. Is. That's right. I said is. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Jesus. And I'm going to tell you, Tom, I may not know your last name, but I'm going to take your word for it Delange. this time. <laughs> Tom Delange. I was in the room, so I wasn't sworn to secrecy. I'm allowed to say it. Whoa. Thank you. Oh, we finally found one. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Not sworn to secrecy, nope. got the answer. It's amazing that we have not don't have the technology to get to the moon, but we can send a satellite into space to do the radio show. Yeah, and we can also <laughs> have things like the space station and tourists now going up. Just a real, but real right above us. Yeah, well, they're floating. I mean, not to the moon though. No, nobody's been to the moon. No, and the what? Soviets would never have called. <laughs> Here's the beautiful thing about the Russians. They would never have called us out on it, neither would the Chinese. Well, they cooperate. The Russia and the Chinese would never have called us out on the lie. Why didn't they do that? Call it out on the lie? Yeah, yeah like, why, why didn't, didn't why Russia didn't the Russians, and the Chinese? Maybe they don't know, they didn't know our technology. Why didn't, but why wouldn't, at least even now, why wouldn't the Russians be like, bullshit? Yeah. Right. Maybe that's who did American Moon on uh, YouTube. The Russians? The, that's, that's <laughs> Putin. Is that what like, it sounded like? And they pretend to go to Moon. I'm <laughs> telling you, this is a great documentary. You should watch it sometime. It's three and a half hours. It's long. I mean, of course it is. <laughs> yeah. Of course it is. What, you can make it five minutes? <laughs> yeah, no, man, come on, dude. 90 they, minutes. They clearly or... go into explaining what it's like. 
there's a lot to digest with You think this. there's a lot of circle talk? <laughs> Remember just, when I told you that there's all this around. like stuff on the internet that makes people crazy and convinces them that they're mm -hmm. right? Never mind. But uh, so well, Very positive comments. Are they? Okay. Uh, you know what? It's hard to have three and a half hours, but I, I try to watch this stuff because I like to be watch informed. It. Watch it, Jim. So watch it. Watch it. I'll watch it piecemeal. I did watch the one UFO documentary that you you told me about, yes, you did. You and did. I did, and I watched yeah. the other one that came out. Yeah. Um. And they they, they it was amazing up until they went into the the African kids because I don't want to fucking hear what a bunch of children said. But they that saw. is a pretty wild scenario. Huge that case. All these big time. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. But I was just too long on it. Like but you don't think that's worth examining? It is, but not. It is. It, did, it lost me because I'm I have much more interest in what pilots. Say and what and, and possible photos and videos than what children say. And about. that was at the end of the documentary. So it was there, too long. Yeah, it was long. It was too, that the, part. The fact that six kids all saw the same thing come is on. pretty wild. Yeah, come but the, the, the McMartin preschool, the whole fucking school said they were molested, and it turns out they weren't. Like, what? I don't kids minds. I don't are not to me as trustworthy as adult minds. Like, and pilots, I would put more stock in. I could have listened to a pilot tell the same story. As another pilot, over and over again, I would put more in that. I'd just much rather hear them saying it. You put higher stock in that? <laughs> the children, children with lower are, stock? But the kids you could have, but I just thought they spent too much time on it, and they wasted what could have been a lot of valuable time. Uh, Patrick in New Jersey? What do you want to say? Uh, hey, guys. Um, I think it's interesting that Troy thinks that we can't make it to the moon but we can launch a satellite that can look at the edge of the universe where the light is taking literally millions of years to get here. Um, and he uses that as a justification. The Hubble Space Telescope isn't looking at light that you see in the moment. It's looking at light that's millions of years old. But right. We have that technology. Yeah. And we also have the technology to put the James Webb Telescope. That doesn't orbit Earth. That orbits... Um, Whoops. Between that, the moon and like sun, a, right? A million Someone, miles away. Yeah, that's the one I asked that astronaut about, the James Webb. I didn't know the name of it, but that was the one I asked. It's in, in not deep space, but deeper space than, than Hubble. Yeah. And um, it, it, how, how did he handle the between, question? <laughs> he had no idea. He's it graceless. balanced between the gravitation of the sun and the moon at a million, oh, I'm sorry, the sun and Earth at a million miles away. Yeah, and they'll probably get amazing. Amazing. Is it up there now? I think they're still running tests yeah. on it, right, for a few months? Yeah, it, it's in position now, and they completely unfolded all of the um, the mirrors that go along with the telescope. Uh, and it's it's in there, ready to go. They're just finalizing all of the, fine-tuning all of the, the mirrors and sensors. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to say is if you go to space.com, which I'm sure is a bullshit conspiracy site, uh, you go and you can actually see the Apollo 11 moon landing site. Uh, how far away is the James Webb Telescope? Do you know? Uh, not, not, not specifically, but it, I think it's either a million miles or a million kilometers away. Oh uh, yeah, I wonder how long it takes. Like, if there's a repair to be done, like on the Hubble, they can fly no. guys up. What are they? How would they repair this James Webb? Would they have to send a, just a, a machine? You can't. Really? You, you can't. Yeah, yeah, it's it's that far away. I think it took like six months to get there. Uh, we looked it up, Travis. I'm curious. You want to know how far away it is? Two thirty-seven. Yeah, two thirty. Could, can they send? Is there any type of like a uh, an automated ship they can send to do repairs on that? If they had to, there's got to be a way to fix something. Well, if if they need to do repairs, they can just go to the sound stage that it's really on. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Patrick. <laughs> what what does this say? Uh, location and orbit. It's this is the uh, James Webb Telescope. Its actual position varies between about two hundred fifty thousand kilometers oh, and eight hundred thirty-two thousand kilometers, which is about five hundred seventeen thousand miles L2? from L two as it orbits. Sorry, what's L two? That's weird. Yeah. Um, My number's from Earth. Keeping it out of both Earth and Moon's orbit. That's five, and the Hubble is 550 kilometers, so this is way further. L2 is shorthand for the second. Is it a gravitational thing between the moon and or point, Earth and Sun? A wonderful accident of gravity and orbital mechanics. How do they know? Uh, I don't know where. <laughs> the gravity from the Sun and the Earth balance the orbital motion of a satellite. It's just a, it's like a weird place between so. two or uh, between two points of gravity. I L2 guess L two lies a million miles from Earth. Oh wow, he's right, a million miles. But in the opposite direction of the sun, allegedly. 
Wait. Okay. Thank you. Oh, it's not towards the sun? No, it's the opposite direction, I guess. Oh, I thought it was a million miles towards the sun. Mm. I, I was wondering, wouldn't that fuck up the pictures, all that bright light? I tell you, if this is if we if all this is true, what Troy's saying, that show Third Rock from the Sun makes no sense. Big if true. You know what? With the Earth, Moon, and Sun behind it, a spacecraft can get a clear. Okay, that makes sense. I thought it was between the Earth and Sun, and I'm like, I think the light from the Sun. I mean, if the Empire State Building fucks up a photo because of the light, <laughs> how does the Sun not do it? That's true. It's a million miles into space with all of us behind it. Okay, perfect. That's true. Can they can they can they do repairs on it if they had to or no? If it's broke, it's broke. Uh, what is this called again? James Webb. Webb. Come on, Travis, get with it. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Charles in Chicago. Man, is is Travis the most? The James Webb is heavy... not designed to be serviced or repaired. Wow, you might be the most heavy fingered typer. That I have ever encountered. She's got Travis. strong hands, baby. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I thought we were landing on the moon. It is out of reach. Just out of reach. That is a fucking. You just gotta hope your ten I mean, billion dollars. Doesn't what if something away. doesn't open up right? You, you you can't have. There must be some checks and balances on it that can kind of self repair a little bit. There has to be to adjust. Holy shit. Imagine if it broke right when it went up there. Ah, oh, man. Oh, fucking. Or, or if a little oh. piece of moon debris or, or space debris hit Just it. knocked it. Oh, nerds. Dude, there's fucking space debris all over the place. Little rocks yeah. and things the size of this microphone flying around. Oh, yeah. Oh, you bet there is. Charles in Chicago. Hello. Yeah, how about we uh, just look at the other countries that have made moon landings? We keep concentrating on the U.S., but there's several other countries that have made moon landings. Yeah, I didn't know if there were or not. I, I honestly didn't know. Okay, well, how about if I think there's a rover from China on the moon? Well, last if the, year. if we faked it uh, because we can't get yeah. there, and then China was like, "Hey, we went to the moon," wouldn't America have been like, "No, that's horseshit. China didn't go wouldn't to the China moon." China say like they never went. We just went there. We checked. That, yeah, no and if they, yeah, and if China yeah. did go to the moon, they'd be like, guys, this is crazy. Not only did we go to the moon, there's not shit up there. <laughs> Do you know what dicks they could make us look like? Oh, no rover, no flag, no footprint. I mean, it is untouched. Troy? And there's inter and there's and there's international cooperation between. I mean, I think Russia just ended it between the Soviets, and even in bad times, we kind of always cooperated. Um, but yeah, that's a great point. How many countries have gone to the moon? I, I didn't even think to that point. There is astronauts on the. There, there are other countries that put astronauts on the moon. No, no, no or rovers or whatever. No, well, that, I'm not saying you can't send a rover. But then why wouldn't they point out the fact that we haven't? <laughs> that we Seven haven't, countries. Yeah, well, where's their Seven picture? Seven countries. You think they'd go there and be like, "Oh, look, here's the American rover. We found it." For what? Like the, for them, you and I having this fun chat. Scientists don't I mean, need to do that. Like they don't descriptor. Scientists don't go like hey let's prove to people that we're here like they just for what yeah it just that doesn't make sense to me i don't know why just somebody just doesn't from earth take a picture of the moon where we landed we didn't land on the dark side of the moon you don't no. think luxembourg when they went would have said hey <laughs> there's no flag here then where's the just take a fucking picture let me see it so wait countries which have landed or orbited the moon by number of missions u.s 30 u.s uh, ssr tw russia 23 china 7 so you think there are 30 60 between this, three by the countries. This ends in 1990. It ends in 1990. So by then, you think there are 60 missions with di different countries, different um, astronauts, and different uh, different control rooms full of people, all of who are silent and none who are tattling on each other. Sworn. But again, sworn. Jim. No astronauts. Just US, America is the US only one that put astronauts. Only one. But but again, the other That's ones. Interesting. The other US, ones not sir. knowing that this but, was faked. But like, if if Russia's gone so many times, just send an astronaut or a cosmonaut to the moon. Busy. Maybe they figure there's nothing to be gained by it. Maybe they can't get through the Van Allen belt. Do you think we're secretly in cahoots with Russia and China? Yeah, uh, possibly. Very possibly, right? Would you be surprised if we were? Yes. <laughs> I, I, I you would be. I, 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 as a matter of fact, I'd be a hundred percent surprised if we were. Yeah. 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 Okay. We, That's yeah. interesting. Sure. We have to break because we have uh, Mark Norman coming. We don't want to be late for Mark.